Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give the highest honor, glory, and all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the apostles, elder bishops, and elders of great millstone and teach and do well and taught me the truth out of the Bible and amongst other things. Peace and salutations to the elect scattered to all four corners of the earth, my fellow laborers who push this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Yeah, man, uh, I'm back with another one, uh, part two, you know, so uh, with no further ado, let me get back into it, you know, I had something to do very quick, so I was like, okay, I can better stop the video and uh, make a part two, you know, so uh, yeah, let me go back. A surreal uh, cause add into people's subconscious. We came up with stimulus film about clean mountain air, refreshing streams. So, did it work? The globalist elites have pumped unfathomable amounts of time and money into the agenda to mind control the human race. So you bet it worked. Hi there. Hi. Welcome to the sleep study. Thank you. Get into your bed and get comfortable. Watch the video. I want you to tell yourself that you want to dream about the video as you fall asleep and go to sleep. When I see that you're in REM sleep, which is your dream sleep, I want to wake you up during the dream so that you remember the dream. Brandon, mm. Brandon, can you tell me what you were dreaming? I was dreaming about waterfalls. And of course, Jake, you know, because they get money uh, to be test subjects, Jake is all up in there, you know, because Jake is only thinking about the money and, you know, yeah, you know how Jake is, man. Because our people nowadays are a, a, a sad case, man, you know. But let's continue. I was walking through snow. Mm, I saw some mountains. I think it was something to do with horrors and a pogo stick or... I have no idea if any other advertisers will choose to ask people to dream their ads in their dreams. I doubt it. But it certainly seems to work. Though dream engineering currently requires our active participation, sleep researchers warn of a new dark reality where bad actors employ passive TDI tactics through things like smart speakers. It's easy to envision a world in which smart speakers become instruments of passive unconscious overnight advertising with or without our permission, the letter authors said. These tailored soundtracks would become background scenery for our sleep as the unending billboards that litter American highways have become for our waking life. It is a pertinent warning especially when you consider the World Economic Forum has declared that your thoughts are no longer your own. Your thoughts now belong to Klaus Schwab and the WEF. And you shouldn't try to fight this dystopian development because it's for your own good. According to Nita Farahani, the WEF now own your thoughts, thanks to the development of a new generation of smart headbands, smart hats, earbuds, and even tattoos. The WEF can monitor your emotional states, control your dreams, decode images that you are seeing in your mind, and even gain access to your biggest secrets, even the PIN number to your bank account. We're not talking about implanted devices of the future. I'm talking about wearable devices that are like Fitbits for your brain. It used to be that there was very little we could tell from EEG activity. But already, using consumer wearable devices, these are headbands, uh, hats that have sensors that can pick up your brainwave activity, earbuds, headphones, tiny tattoos that you can wear behind your ear, we can pick up emotional states like, are you happy or sad or angry? We can pick up and decode faces that you're seeing in your mind. Simple shapes, numbers, your PIN number to your bank account. They weren't kidding when they said that you'll own nothing. It's the part about being happy that they were probably joking about. Klaus Schwab has long been discussing a future. Yeah, man. So, you see, you know, and... This is ESO trusted in its, uh, that's why they said 
uh, also that uh, if you don't trust in the science, then you are anti, <laughs> anti them, and you know all kinds of madness because this is where they trust in our man. You know, and matter of fact, the scripture jumps pops in my head immediately. Bear with me. Hey, Salakia. Uh, Salakia for that. Um, yeah. This is the book of Isaiah. Uh, Forty-seven. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, this is Isaiah for uh, chapter 47, verse 12. Stand now with thine enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from the youth, from thy youth, if so be thou shalt uh, if so be thou shalt be pro uh, able to profit, if so be thou mayst prevail. You see? Because this is that's why hey the most I said stand thou with your enchantments, man. And your multitude of sorceries, because this is all witchcraft and sor a sorcery, man. These technocrats and these so-called science, everything is sorcery, is witchcraft, man. <laughs> and what 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 the most I said about witchcraft and witches, don't suffer a witch to live, man. You see? And in the NLT, now use your magical charms, use the spells you have worked all these years. Maybe they will do you some good. Maybe they can make someone afraid of you. And that is what they do in what I was saying. They're making you afraid with their enchantments, man. You see? And this is what they're doing for years, man. This is how they are doing. And um, let me go to look some things up, man. Yeah, let me go to the world in, uh, word enchantment, so like, yeah. Uh, Strong's age 2267. Hever. Hever. Association, company, band, shared, association, society, a magician, a charmer, a spell. You see, enchantment is a spell. And a strong definition, a society, and they are, are <laughs> they put enchantments on the whole society, man. Spells, uh, charmer, charmer, charmering, company, enchantment, white. You see? And sorceries is witchcraft, you see? And the most I ain't done with that, man, with witchcraft. You see? So, yeah, man. Uh, verse 13. Thou art wearied in the multitude, multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly pronosticators stand up and save thee from these things that shall come on, uh, shall come upon thee. And that is what is going to happen with Isa either, man. Because like I was saying, he's going to prevail for a moment when, uh, like in the book of Job, when this devil is about to fill his belly, sudden destruction is going to come upon him, man. You know? Because if I always say it, man, you know when you, you, you want to take a bite of your steak or something, you know, you're eating something sweet, you know, and you try to, you put that, you know, you put, uh, put the, put the, oh, you're about to fill your belly, then somebody knocked the plate or your fork or your uh, spoon out of your hand and everything falls down on the ground so you cannot eat anymore. That is what is going to happen with Esau Edom. When he thinks he's going to prevail, he's going to have his <laughs> he got to have his new world order and everything, uh, every and he everybody, all the nations and everything to himself, you know. Uh, his digital revolution, his fourth, uh, in, uh, so like, I mean, his fourth industrial revolution, you know, his sustainable goal, twenty thirty goal, twenty twenty five goal, whatever what he wants, you know, if he is about to fulfill it. And he gonna, you know, cause the 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 last step is gonna be that uh, uh, the Harakma man. 
that is final prophecy. This is the prophecy what our forefather, John, John the Revelator, saw on the island of Patmos, man. This was these visions, the book of Revelation. You see? That is going to be the final stage, man. Because he also saw with that, when that was happening, what he saw. He saw the Babylon the Great up in smoke, fire, man. <laughs> you know, great fire, man. And he was looking at, and he was looking from a standpoint that he was in the chariots, man, a sea of mingled glass. Mm -hmm. And the great whore was burning, man. And that is what is what is going to happen, man. You see? So if he think he's going to fulfill and his new world order and everything, hey, so the destruction is going to come upon him, man. You see? So let me read it again. Thou art weary in the multitude of thy counsels. You know, let uh, now the astrologers, the stargazers, and the monthly prognosticators stand up and save thee from the from these things that shall come upon thee. Yeah, and you they ain't gonna save you. All you all your enchant enchantments, all your counsels, and you know all, all the things you try to prevail with, and you, these prognosticators and stargazers, and you know all these 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 witches. Let me say it like that: warlocks and witches. They ain't gonna help you. And the new warlock and witches are these technocrats. You know they ain't gonna help you, man. When the wrath of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is gonna come. It, you can, it ain't going to help you, man. You see? And in the NLT, uh, all the advice you receive has made you tired. <laughs> where, all, uh, where are all your astrologers, those stargazers who make predictions each, each month, let them stand up and save you what the future holds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beautiful. Because nothing is going to save you from the wrath of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Like I was saying, the, the the victory of the saints is already written in the in the scriptures, man. It's already written, man. You can't do nothing, man. Even if you try to behead some of us, of you 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 gonna put us in jails, kill a lot of uh, the saints, you know, you ain't gonna prevail, man. Cause victory is already written. The elect is already picked by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You, it's nothing that you can do about it, and Jacob will have the victory. And you cannot change it, nothing, with none of your stargazers, your pronosticators, and none of your astrologers, man. Nobody's like uh, in Egypt with his, uh, with his, uh, 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 how you call it, with his, uh, with his uh, witchcraft, uh, uh, their prophets, these false prophets. <laughs> so that is going to happen, man, you know. And yeah, man, let you go back to the video and uh, Yawa are gonna close out, man. Mm -hmm. It's a lucky, yeah. Future where brain chips will be implanted in human subjects to control their thoughts. He believes that brain chips will allow a fusion of the physical, digital, and biological world. In other words, transhumanism. During a 2017 WEF meeting, Klaus Schwab asked Google co-founder Sergey Brin if he could envision a future where everybody has a brain chip. Advancing very fast. But can you imagine that in 10 years when we are sitting here, we have an implant in our uh, brains and um, I can immediately feel, because you all will have implants, I can, and we measure your, your brain waves, and I can immediately tell you how the people react, or I can feel uh, how the people react um, to your answers. Uh, is it imaginable? Um, I, I think that is imaginable. I think... Um... <laughs> this is your friend Klaus Swap, and they say it, man. Can you imagine that, that in the future you have a brain chip and he can, uh, he, he can uh, know what you're feeling and... This is what they want, man. This is the new fourth industrial revolution, and everybody who's against this agenda, you're gonna be, uh, you're gonna be terminated. That's why they already are busy to see who's gonna uh, comply to the new world order. You see, but that is that god complex this devil has, man. But no, the world is not ruled by evil elites. Hey, he's, you hear it with it's coming coming out of their own mouth, man. Like I say in the book of uh, 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 Isaiah, man, you know, 
Woe, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, who put darkness for light and light for darkness. And that is exactly what they are what they are, they are doing, man. You see? Because he got a God complex. Matter of fact, let me go to another scripture. Bear with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me stay in the book of Isaiah. Uh, let me take chapter 14. And go to... Uh, so it's also beautiful... Uh, it's a beautiful uh, scripture also, man. Um, let me start with... Yeah, we're going to start with uh, 12. This is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did didst weak, weaken the nation? And that is Esau Edom, because Lucifer means light bearer. Matter of fact, let me go to the Lucifer. And yeah, you see, Lucifer, light bearer, shining one, because he is the one that uh, he is the one, he is the illuminated one now on this earth, you know, on the left hand side. You see, that is what it means. That's why Illuminati means lightning, you know, light, they are enlightenment, Salakia, that is what I mean, enlightenment. You know, that's why they are called the groups of elites uh, Illuminati, because they are the enlightened ones on, on this earth, on the left hand side. Because why? They control everything. They are the, 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 the top, the top tire, you know, the top tier, Salakia. Uh, shining one, morning star, Lucifer, of the king of Babylon and uh, Satan, uh, Halal, Halal, describing the king of Babylon, you know. Uh, yeah, in a sense of brightness, the morning star Lucifer. You see? So that is him. That is him. Okay. Um, let me go back. You know, so that is him, man. This is Edom. That's why the, the, <laughs> how thou are fallen from heaven, and it's not literally he's fallen from heaven, like the Christians say that Satan fell from fell from heaven. No, heaven is also the dominion in the you know the enlightenment ones. They are sitting up high, like I was saying, top tier. You know, they are sitting up high, and they are falling from their position, like lightning, because that is what is happening right about now like what i'm saying that their kingdom gonna be over very soon man they're gonna be the tail and we're gonna be the head you see and they're gonna fall man you know and yeah they are the one that weakened the nations because hey isa edom weakened all the nations man all over the earth like I was saying before in uh, part one, the proxy wars, all the wars that they are creating all over the world, Ukraine, Sudan, uh, Syria, uh, what more, Iraq, Iran, uh, Gaddafi, Libya, everywhere where they are, they're creating only havoc, man, and weaken the nations. Uh, uh, Libya, was, uh, Libya was a very uh, prosperous country, man. Gaddafi, only thing that he wanted was uh, Africa had one, uh, like the Euro, the, the Europe have Euro. Uh, Gaddafi wanted Africa had their own, uh, uh, um, their own, uh, how you call it, uh, how you call it, their own uh, money, man. So like an African coin, you know, an African, African currency. That is what it was all about. And they... Oh, yeah, Isa Eden the one didn't have it that you know because then Africa become yeah much stronger than all these other nations because why Africa got the resources that's why it is fair that's why and if especially Isa is so stupid then they say yeah Africa got the where they are so poor because you devils are over there and keep the people poor that's why the people are poor over there because because of your devils you see because. Africa got all the natural resources to be uh, very prosperous and very rich because they everything what we use is 
what we're using is coming from Africa, man. But of course, if they need to control the natural resources, so they need to keep the people poor over there and have a fully access to all the natural resources over there, you know? But yeah, man. But this is how he weakened the nations, man. Through his wars, man. And his tactics, his cunning, you know, his, uh, the, his cunning devices, you know? For thou hast said, verse 13, in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. You see, that is that God complex this, this devil has, you know, like we see in, in the video, what Klaus Schwab is saying. They want to sit in the, on the, in the congregation, in the mount of the congregation. That means, and that is the Israelites, man. You see, because we are the children of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So we want to get in you, man. He want to take take total control over the whole creation of the earth, everything that the Most High has created. That that's why he's the devil, and the devil means a culminator. He opposed the Most High, and that is to a T is that Esau either, man. You see, and he say, <laughs> and he will sit in the in the uh, <laughs> he will sit above the stars, and we are the stars, you know. And this is what Esau wants, man. He wants to be God. He got that God complex, but he's still a man. You saw? Uh, yeah, verse 14. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the Most High. Is that this not what Esau Edom says? That's why he said, hey, there, and the this, this same devils that we are uh, seeing, Klaus Schwab and uh, Yuval Harari, his henchmen, they are saying that they're gonna be, there is no more God and that they are the new gods. And we got to uh, believe in their technology and their science. And that is now the new God. You see? This is what the devil is saying. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, man. You see? <laughs> Hey, I don't have to say more, man. And what the and the most I said in verse 15, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. You know, and hell is a condition. Hell is not a place under the earth where you're gonna burn forever. No, hell is a condition where you live in. You know, because Christians, that's why a lot of people left the Christian church because it was too much fantasy. They were talking, they don't know the scriptures, breaking things totally, breaking things down totally wrong. You know, that's why people fled the church because that doesn't make no sense. That is Roman, uh, that, that is an, a Greek mythology, burning hell. Uh, no, hell is a condition that you live in. Mm -hmm. And that is what the Most High is going to do with these devils, you know. He's going to bring them down to the ground, <laughs> you know. And that is going to be hell for them, man. Uh, and in the NLT, instead you will be brought down to the place of the dead, down to its lowest depths. depths you see? That is the condition, man. You're gonna be like we stated in the book of Ezekiel. We are in the we are we are the living dead. Because why? We don't know who we are anymore. We 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 just breathe in and we was just breathe breathing and eating, and that was before we didn't know the truth. Because what the most I said, if you don't know this truth, you're basically dead. You're a brute beast. You don't know nothing. This is wisdom. That's why I know the scriptures is wisdom, man. So, yeah, man, the, 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 I want to go really to the point that he wants to be like the Most High, you know. That is what this devil has, that God complex, you know. So, a uh, little bit of the video and uh, I'm going to close out, man. No, I, I think, you know, you can imagine that. You can imagine, well, you're going to be sort of transplanted into you know the the internet so to speak to live forever in a digital realm uh you know you can imagine that you know you just in your biological incarnation are going to live to be some you know very long age Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum are ecstatic that transhumanist Elon Musk is determined to start testing brain implants in humans as soon as possible. In 2008, Musk was a WEF Young Global Leader, 
bowing and scraping to the globalist elites, along with Emmanuel Macron, Jacinda Ardern and Justin Trudeau, all of whom went on to become far-left authoritarians as prime ministers and presidents in WEF-infiltrated countries. In 2016, Elon Musk founded Neuralink, a company whose goal is to connect the human brain to a computer. The company is the... Yeah, and today... Uh, no, yesterday, Elon, Mo Elon Musk, Elon Musk, we call him always, the brothers, <laughs> Elon Musk, he uh, had uh, the green light of the F FDA approval to test his brain, uh, neural brain links upon, uh, upon uh, human subjects, man, you see, so, hey, man. The prophecy is, 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 hey, the prophecy is, 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 is hey, it's spot on, man. Like, like we go, like I'm saying in the book of the, of Revelations, what John the Revelator saw is spot on, man. Because this is the prophecy, man. This is what they are going to do. And this is also going to be the, the be all, the end all be all, man. This is going to be the visitation of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. So that's why we need to, the, uh, we know, man, now these times, man, the devil is pushing hard as he can, man, you know. But he's also being exposed for the devil that he really is, man. Matter of fact, let me go to another scripture, man. It's always one I like to bring out too, you know. It's the book of 2 Thessalonians. The book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2. And let me go to... Yeah, let me go straight to the point, verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for the day that they shall not come, except there be come a falling away first, and that the man of sin be revealed the son of perdition. You see? So let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there uh, come a falling away first. And the Hebrew Israelites, we had to fall away first in 7 AD, you know, when we went to uh, to uh, different uh, of captivities and slavery, you know that was the fall in the way first, man. You see, but that man of sin, Esau Edom, is being revealed the son of perdition. Uh, let me go to that word perdition. Because he's being revealed, man. Everybody's on it, man. That's why what I was saying that these agencies mm -hmm. like uh, Homeland Security, Dutch Homeland Security, and all over the uh, earth, they are talking about conspiracies, extreme conspiracies, thinking that uh, the global elite runs the earth. But that is what <laughs> that is what it is, man. You see? But these devils try to do damage control. Hey, that's why we're fighting a spiritual battle, man. Okay. Um, Apoleia. In the Greek word is apoleia, for perdition, and destroying other destruction of vessel, uh, a perishing, a ruin, destruction of money, the destruction which consists of eternal misery in hell, you know, condemnation, and that is perdition, man, the son of perdition, the son of, of the son of <laughs> destruction, man. And he's that vessel that is near, that is going to be destroyed by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's why I'm always uh, I'm always amazed by uh, by our people because Jake is true, you know, our people that they think that this devil can change, man. I always say it, he cannot change. The Most High made him like that, man. A vessel of wickedness for wickedness, man. A strong definition. Um, Ruin or loss, physical, spiritual, or, or eternal, damnable, <laughs> damnation, destruction, die, perdition, uh, expirish, pernicious waste, and his ways are pernicious, man, a waste. Hey, what what the most I said in uh, the book of Malachi, uh, chapter one. You know, uh, I I leave uh, <laughs> I leave uh, Esau Edom his his heritage waste for the dragons, man. You see? It's roughly paraphrased. So, yeah, man. This is uh, the son of uh, <laughs> perdition. Yeah, verse 4. Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the, the Most High, Yahweh, 
or that is worship so that he as the most high sitteth in the temple of the most high Yahweh, showing himself that he is the most high remember ye not that <laughs> that when i was with you i told you these things and now ye know what withhold it that he might be revealed in his time and this devil is revealed in his time you see and you know, the, the Mosai revealed him. He's been exposed because this the Mosai is doing that to know really who he is, man. Um Yeah, let me draw the Yeah, let me read it till uh, till eight. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, Esau, Edom, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth through the, through the, through, and who, who is the spirit of his mouth? The prophets, man, because we are calling this in existence and condemning this devil through the holy words of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, man, and shall destroy with the brightness, uh, Salakia. Let me read it from the top. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. And he's being consumed by these words. That's why he tried to get the Bible out of the way, man. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Because if Yahweh Shai, the second coming of our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, will come, he's going to destroy, destroy him, man, with the brightness of his coming, with the host of angels, man. And that is going to be a spectacle, man, that nobody has seen on this earth, man. Nobody, man. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers, signs, and lying wonders. And that is Esau either, man. And uh, to, to let you know that it is not the spiritual being Satan, and that is Satan, a man, is this man will come to do the work of Satan with, and that is in the NLT, with counterfeit, power and signs and miracles you see counterfeit power because you ain't on the level of the most high man you're just a man you're just a you're just a buck in the eye uh, just a buck in the eyes of the most high man because he created you man you see and in the uh let me go to the word satan because a lot of people say oh satan let me see what satan means really man uh in the greek is a satanas adversary uh, one who oppose another in purpose of uh, or act, the name given to the prince of evil spirits, the, that is the spiritual being uh, Satan, the uh, infiltrate adversary of the Most High, and the uh, Yahweh Shai, but that is that is not re totally true, you know, because in the scriptures, uh, if you go to the book of Job, uh, Satan does the does do the bidding of the Most High. Everything that the Most High said, what Satan need to do, he do he does. He don't rebel against the Most High. He sit on the left hand side of the the Most High and doing the evil. He's he got dominion of all the evil angels, man. Like how Shai have dominion over all on the right hand side. You see, because he said he calls Satan also his son. You know. He incites uh, apostasy from the Most High and to sin, circumventing man by his wiles, the worshipper of idols, and Esau is a big worshipper of idols, are said to be under his control. By his demons he is able to take possession of man and inflict them with diseases. By Yahweh's assistance he is overcome. One uh, on Yahweh Shai's return from heaven, he will bound with chains for a thousand years, with chains for a thousand years, but when the thousand years are finished, he will walk the earth in yet greater power, but shortly after will be given to eternal punishment. And that is you Edomites, man, because you was, if you go to the book of Revelation, you was, because Satan was loose for a little time, you see? Because in the uh, uh, his first time was in the Greek and the Roman Empire, and it all begins if you go to the Book of Maccabees, with uh, 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 Alexander the the I ain't I ain't call him great Alexander we call him the freak you know with Alexander the freak and they always the Edomites are always so big upon uh, Alexander the freak you know because he's the he's the beacon of their civilization. But what they mentioned, uh, forget to tell you and uh, forget to mention you, is that 
uh, Alexander the, the, the freak was a, the direct descendants of the Amalekites. And Amalek is one of the, <laughs> the grand-grandchildren of Esau either, man. So, hey, there you have it, man. You see? And Amalek is the worst of the, of, 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 of the Edomites. He's one of the worst. That's why he's, he's the Amalekites, we know how, who they are, man. And they are ruling this planet on this particular time, man. You see? Uh, B, a Satan-like man. Esau Edom, he's a Satan-like man. You see? The strong definitions, uh, Satanas of the Chaldee origin, uh, correspond, corresponding with the definite affix, the accuser, because he's an accuser. E.I., the devil, Satan. You see? So, yeah, man. So, with that, I want to close out. I hope you was edified through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. To the next one, I want to say, Shalom.